Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Robin and today we are in the studio. I'm going to be giving you some dance moves that you can do at a wedding or on any dance floor. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So starting off with the bounce, we're gonna go ahead and bend our knees on the beat. I'm also adding a little bit of a hip rotation as I bend the knees, the hips are going down and back, and as I straighten up, the hips are going up and forward. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller as I bounce, and then I'm also going to shift my weight from side to side just to give this a more relaxed feel. You can also swing the arms and add any movements of the head just to give it a really relaxed vibe. Moving on to our step touch, we're gonna step open to the side, tap the opposite foot in, take that same foot out to the side and tap the other foot in. So we just have step and touch and step and touch. Now we're gonna add a little bit of a bounce to this as we touch and as we step to the side, we're straightening up and on the in-betweens, we're bouncing down. So we have up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now, notice how we do look a little stiff when we're doing this. So once you get this bounce down, we're gonna go ahead and add the shoulders to it. So as we're straightening up, our shoulders are going backwards, and as we're bending down, our shoulders are going forwards. So bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce. Make sure you keep that bounce going as you do your step touch. Once you get super comfortable with this movement, you can twist a little away from the foot that's stepping out and add in the arms and head so that you get that really relaxed and fun vibe. You can bend down a little bit further with it, just keeping that subtle groove in between the step and the touch. And be sure to just slow this down and break it down movement by movement until you get comfortable. And then you can add all of the upper extremities. And moving on to the grapevine, just stepping open to the side, stepping back, stepping open to the side and touching. So we have side, back, side and touch side back and side and touch notice how we're adding the same bounce and shoulder movement that we did in the step touch one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then once you get comfortable with this movement you can use your arms upper body and head Moving on to the push off, we're just gonna step open and then push off that foot and bring it right back in. So we're just putting our weight on, but then pushing off that same foot and bringing it in. So we have out and in and out and in. We have the bounce going just like before. And once again, we're gonna go ahead and just add that upper body movement in there once we get comfortable. We can swing the arms, we can move our arms above our head, we can use our head in different ways. Moving on to front, front, back, back. This one's really easy. We just step forward, step forward again, and then step back and step back. Our hips are kind of following where our foot is stepping. And once again, we can have fun with this using our upper body, using our head to really get into this movement. Moving on to the box step. This one is very simple as well. You're just going to step forward, cross the other foot in front, step back with the opposite foot and then open up so that we're hitting all four corners of a box. And once again, just like before, add a bounce to it. Moving on to the four count turn. We're just gonna step open to the side, turn towards the back, rotate and open towards the front again, and then use the last foot to tap in. Kind of like the grapevine, but in turning form. We can clap the hands together when we tap, and this makes for a very easy and fun move. 
Next up, we have the sway. And this one, your legs are just open. You're bouncing as you just sway your body back and forth, right and left. And once again, we're just using those arms however we want to relax into the movement. Use your hips as well. Your hip is going with your weight change. So now for the hip groove, we're just straightening our legs and twisting away from the foot that we're stepping on as our hips thrust forward. And then as we bend our knee and sit into that hip, our opposite leg just comes up as we release the hips back. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So we're just twisting each time and it's really all in the hips. And then once again, add the upper body, arms and head. And last but not least, we have the body roll. So for this, we're just starting by opening the chin upward, opening the chest, and then thrusting the hips forward. Then as that's happening, the shoulders are actually releasing back, the chest follows back, the hips go back as we start the body roll again, so chest lifts. So it's kind of like a sequence of events that starts with the chin and chest and ends with the hips. And we're just rolling. And as you can see, while we do this movement, there is a hip roll that is isolated within this movement. Um, once we get this down, we can do it a little faster, we can have fun with it, add the arms as usual, and then you can even add this movement into all of your basics. All right, that's all I've got for you for today. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe for weekly wedding dance content. If you haven't already, check out last week's video, Nine Wedding Dance Tips. I post helpful, inspiring, or entertaining videos at least once a week, sometimes more, and I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.